Jim Fisher, the third way, not right, not left, but the third way. And uh, right now I wanted to talk about the FDA and kind of libertarian philosophy. And the FDA is just one example of a socialist or government institution uh, that I wanted to talk about. And it happens to be one that I know a lot about, so uh, because I work in an FDA regulated industry. So I kind of wanted to talk about my philosophy with government and use the FDA as kind of an example. Um, so as a very hardcore libertarian, I say there should be no such thing as the FDA. And most people hear that, and it doesn't matter if you're on the right or your left, you think, oh, no, no FDA, no FDA, and, you know, there's going to be maniacs selling snake oil on the back of a, a, a horse wagon. Uh, you know, to the local townies, and, and that's, you know, it was the FDA that ended all that. And no, the FDA didn't end that. Do you really believe, you know, we're going to be drinking morphine-laced snake oils if the FDA never got started? What's What ended that was technology, our ability to actually find out what's in, in our products, uh, and it is not government regulation that ended that. Actually, that whole period ended before the FDA was even created. But anyway, um, I work for Shire HTT in Cambridge. Um, Shire is an absolutely wonderful co uh, company. We make life-saving drugs. Uh, we make a drug called uh, um, Elaprase, which is for Hunter Syndrome. Uh, you know, these kids, they usually die when they're 9 or 10 years old that, that have Hunter Syndrome. It's an extremely rare disease. They lack a particular enzyme. Shires figured out a way to uh, to, to uh, genetically engineer a cell that excretes a large amount of that enzyme. We, we filter the, the, the bad stuff out to the point where we just have that enzyme left and we inject it into these kids and literally save their lives. So we make uh, multiple life-saving drugs. But because they're extremely rare diseases, it costs each, uh, each uh, patient around $150,000 a year to be on our medication. Uh, there's only like a thousand patients for Hunter syndrome in all of the United States. But, so to get into the FDA, so we are a regulate, an FDA regulated industry and most people think, uh, you know, without the FDA, uh, a company like Shire or any company could just run wild and sell poison and call it say it cures whatever they want, get people to buy it, there's nothing you can do, it's, the FDA prevents all this, and, uh, you know, the truth of the matter is, uh, first off, is it's not a great business model to, uh, to, to sell poison to your customer. Uh, I don't think that's really a good long-term business model. But, you know, you could still argue, yeah, but they do it short term and, and then run away and, and get away with it. Well, the, so when I say that there should be no FDA, what I mean is there should be no government regulated, um, you know, um, no government regulation, regulated uh, authority over, over any of these companies. And there's a multitude of reasons. And, and just because I say that doesn't mean I don't believe that there should be phase one and two three clinical trials and that companies should prove efficacy before they um, are allowed to sell a drug. What I'm saying is there should be no monopoly on that, that, that inspection process and the FDA is a monopoly and anytime you have a monopoly you have just like what I talked about the TCA is they don't have to worry about their performance you know other than maybe the majority's public view but they don't have to worry about um, if they're imposing tyranny on somebody. The FDA has just recently sent a, uh, a letter of intent to uh, Diamond Walnuts and threatened to shut them down because Diamond Walnuts advertises that their omega-3 oils in their walnuts uh, are, are heart healthy. Think of how ridiculous that is. That is tyranny. And you know, oh, that's not tyranny. Well, imagine yourself being the guy that started a walnut company from the ground up worked tireless hours for years and years and years and grew this tiny little 
company into this, you know, massive, um, you know, nut giant, and 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 then you find out you've you've paid you've paid independent um, organizations to study the health effects, and you find out that you know what they really are good for people. Omega three threes really are good for people, and there's been over thirty three studies validating it, not just from from uh, Diamond, Diamond Walnut, but from all kinds of independent agencies have studied the. Uh, the effects of omega three. So the claim they make is perfectly true, and the FDA isn't isn't arguing that it's not. What they're saying is because you make this claim, it is a medical claim, and you must file for drug status. And if you do not file for drug status, we're going to shut you down. Think of that. That is tyranny. That's tyranny. If you are the guy that started that company, and uh, and the FDA is threatening to shut you down if you don't file for drug status for walnuts. Uh, they did the same thing with uh, with a pomegranate juice company. I forget the name of them. I think it's called Palm. Uh, and this is a third company that did the same thing too. So that's the problem when you have a a monopoly on some some form of control over the society. And uh, you know, me saying there should be no FDA, it doesn't mean I don't believe there should be any control over drugs. The free market will have will. Replace the if there was no FDA, it would get replaced by some free market entity. Whenever there's a demand, the free market will put something there. And you know, take for example, if you want to buy a new car, how do you find out if that car is any good? Can you pick up a Consumer Reports magazine and find out real research? Can you trust that research Consumer Reports does? Um, can you go on the internet and and get reviews? Is there a way to find out if a car is actually good before you purchase it? And that's something really that's uh, insignificant importance to, to drugs. So the need is much less. 